It's rare to find a game that's so effective with its storytelling and atmosphere that it leaves an impression on you even years after you've played it. But for me, one of those games is Golden Treasure, The Great Green. Golden Treasure is, by design, a bit of a niche title. It's primarily a visual novel, with long paragraphs of text to read through, and decisions to be made that impact where your individual story goes. But it also mixes in some RPG elements, such as skill checks and rock-paper-scissors style combat. These are the building blocks that make up Golden Treasure's main gameplay loop. You begin your journey as a Drakkin, a member of a very dragon-like race, as you're just hatching from your egg. The world is a dangerous place, but also full of great opportunities, and your goal is to grow and discover what the world has in store for one of your kind. In each chapter of Golden Treasure, you have a set number of days in which you can explore, build up your skills, and see what new events you can come across. As a member of the Drakkin species, you're strongly connected to the four elements of nature, fire, water, earth, and air. And by choosing different options in dialogue, you can raise your experience in these different elements. For example, if you pick a really aggressive option, that's likely to raise your points in fire. Or a more passive choice could raise your points in water. At the beginning of each day, the game will tell you if an element has leveled up, which is indicated by a symbol that grows increasingly more complex the higher your level is. With a high skill in an element, you get not only new abilities, but new opportunities as well. As I mentioned previously, this game has skill checks, and sometimes you won't be able to interact with a certain character or get into a certain area unless your level in the elements is high enough. Your abilities also contribute to your skill in combat, where each participant chooses an attack, and then the two attacks clash to see how much damage you each take. Fire beats air, air beats water, and water beats fire, with earth being kind of a neutral element. The combat of this game is very simple, but it functions for what it is. Another important factor in Golden Treasure is your energy level. At the end of each day, a set amount of energy is lost and certain actions also require energy to perform, such as breathing fire, which is strenuous on your drac. The main way to replenish your energy is by hunting, which involves trying to get close to your prey to strike them before they can run. If they do run, you have the option to give chase, which leads to a minigame where you avoid obstacles to try and catch up. Again, this is a simplistic mechanic, and kinda janky, but it functions for what it is. If the prey you're chasing is strong enough, or if you're not convincing enough with your dialogue during an event, you may find yourself being unwillingly thrown into combat, so it's always good to be ready for when that can occur. Another important thing to note is that Golden Treasure has permadeath, but that doesn't mean it gets rid of all your progress. Certain feats that you earn as a Dratkin will carry over to your other playthroughs, meaning you can gain some experience in the elements before you've even started your new playthrough. Ways to do this include tarot cards, animal masteries, and artifacts. I died on my first attempt through this game, and I think almost everyone is likely to go through that as well. This is a surprisingly hard game when you don't have any of those permanent bonuses, but you get used to death being a part of your experience, and I think this is a game that's meant to be played through multiple times. Not only because it can be difficult at first, but because it has different dialogue you can see based on your choices, as well as multiple endings. Thankfully, you do not have to start over at the very beginning each time you run out of your three lives and game over. You're instead given the option to start over at any of the previous chapters you've reached. This is great because it skips over a lot of the early grinding you would have to do, although not all of it. If you die in the middle of a chapter, you'll still have to start over at the beginning of said chapter. But personally, I never found that to be a big deal, because now that I've gone over the gameplay basics, I can finally get into what I think really makes Golden Treasure special. All of the writing, and the world building. Golden Treasure is, in my opinion, one of the best written games I've ever played. As a piece of xenofiction, the writing is incredibly effective at putting you in the perspective of your Dratkin. Every aspect of your Dratkin's thoughts feels as though it comes from a non-human creature. Humans do exist in the world of Golden Treasure, 
But for most Dratkin, the human-like things they do are beyond the realm of understanding, and there's no changing that for them. The writing reflects this in how Dratkin view humans and the other animals around them, such as them referring to human arms as forelegs, or not really understanding the sense of unity among the clan singers, or wolves as we call them. The writing is incredibly immersive. It can be serious, or sad, or funny, or anything in between. And when combined with the pictures drawn of each scene, I've always found it easy to visualize the events that are taking place in the story. Even though Golden Treasure is about surviving in your life as a Dratkin, there is so much more to be found that makes the story worthwhile. What Golden Treasure offers in some of its best moments is a strong spiritual connection to nature and the elements. Every animal you encounter glows with essence lines. Spirits and mystical dreams seek you out if you don't find them first. Your own perception of what you are and what a Dratkin is can be challenged by a goddamn video game. I'm not a religious person myself, but Golden Treasure has a kind of spirituality to it that's always struck me on a deep level. It's the kind where, even though you know you're just playing a video game, you don't want to be disrespectful to most of the characters you come across, because the game is so respectful when handling them itself. Each type of animal in this game has their own song to sing, and by that I mean way of speaking. Drat can refer to communication as singing. This is reflected in not only the way they speak, but their font and color choice for dialogue. Take for example the fancy and light font of the Night Sky Claws, or the rough orange font of the Bear Tails. It all helps add to the personality and individuality of the animals you come across, and gets you invested in their stories. I can't talk about most of the lore of Golden Treasure here, because there would be way too many spoilers, but some of it was really unexpected, and could just kind of stun me with how beautiful it was. The true slash secret ending in particular hit me hard the first time I went through it, and it still does every time I watch it again, even when I know exactly what's going to happen. In addition to the writing, the pictures for the scenes are well done, and are usually in a colorful, very painterly style. And the music is phenomenal. Just listen to some of it. There are parts about Golden Treasure that I know some people won't like. There's the permadeath part I talked about earlier. The balancing of some elements and abilities is kinda off, such as Power Strike and Consumed Treasure being overpowered as hell, and the game gets very easy overall on repeat playthroughs. But the reason I love Golden Treasure, and the reason why it's one of my favorite games of all time, is that for the type of game it was going for, I think it got it right in the points that matter the most. There's not all that much actual gameplay to speak of here, but to me, Golden Treasure was, and still is, a spiritual journey filled with unforgettable events that make you think about life, death, honor, tradition, survival, compassion, and so much more, even when the game has already finished. And aside from that, it's just a fun game to get lost in, if you like this kind of thing. Because of that, I think I would recommend this game most to people that like reading fantasy or sci-fi stories. It deserves a long deep dive to really go into all the lore, but I'll save that for another video. For now I'll just say that if I had to describe Golden Treasure in just one word, it really would be magical. And for that, to use Golden Treasure's own words against it, may you be blessed, you wonderful game. <laughs>